and you want to just get good at coding, pick a game that has been made in the past and try and remake that game. So you're, you're completely self-taught. Um, I read Masters of Doom and Doom Guy. Cool. Um, and uh, now, you know, we have uh, Unity, we have Unreal, we have tutorials, um, we have communities, we have AI. But with that in mind, um, what should someone who's like starting getting into game dev, um, what are the like top three things they should actually do? Whether that's a young person, a kid who's has all the time in the world or an adult like me and you with, you know, full-time jobs, kids, families, and not as much time. So what would you, th what would you suggest are the top three things they should actually do? Like what matters early on? Uh, well, I guess figuring out what you want to do in game dev, because there's a lot of jobs, uh, they're not all programming. <laughs> yeah. Um, getting into game dev, um, at this point, it really helps if you are a specialist or if you um, are technical in whatever area you decide to work in, like whether you're like a 3D modeler, you want to be a technical 3D modeler. Um, if you're doing materials, a materials artist or environmental artist, you want to be a, a technical version of those. Um, even though it's an art position, you want to be a technical artist uh, because that 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 just you're you're ahead of everybody in that discipline if you get to that if you can get to that point but figure out what you want to do and start figuring and basically start learning how to do that job um for games and the best way to do it obviously is to build a small game and if you're not a coder uh find a little team like at least one other person you know you can do it with one other person um but but get somebody who can develop, uh, that can code. You don't necessarily have to code. If you use Unreal, you use Blueprints, you know, you can do it without programming. Um, but come up with something really small that that will, um, you know, you come up with an idea, and that idea does, it will naturally have a lot to do with your interest in, in the game dev. If you're a writer, you're going to be writing up a big old story. So... Uh, that's completely different than if you're a programmer. <laughs> right. If you're a programmer, if you don't have game ideas um, to all the details, you know, and, and try to just finish the game, you know, not half finish it or like, oh, the, the, the fun part is the beginning. That's where you like, you get the core of the game working and then you start doing the rest and kind of give up because it's like, well, that was enough. That I, you know, <laughs> yeah. I made Pac-Man, you know, it's like, yeah. Finish Pac-Man, get all the levels in there, get all the fruit in there, get the game over, get the intermissions and the high scores and the attract mode and do all that. And now you'll know what it's like to actually ship a game and not just do part of a game, you know? Um, people who start at the beginning of a game project are pretty lucky um, if they go to another company because a lot of times you're in there in the middle or at the end or something. Um, to be there at the very beginning is really, really great. And if you're making your own games, you'll be there at the very beginning. So you'll know what it's like to start stuff and what the idea phase is like and all that. But it's important to just come up with something small and figure out how to make that small thing. Like, who do you need to help you finish it? If you're not a programmer. If you are a programmer, you can pretty much do everything. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> You can get all the art off the marketplace. Yeah. You can get all the audio. You can do everything, you know. Um, but if you want really great game design, you know, you want to learn how to do game design if you're a programmer or find a game designer, you know, that, that gets it. Yeah. So, so you, so is the, our generalists not really as, you know, they're great for, they're great for indie yeah. generalists are, are what indie teams need mm -hmm. but when you move into big teams, they mm -hmm. need special. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, I agree with that. Yeah, I, I, the projects I work on, not game dev, are pretty large teams and big projects. And yeah, it's there's the specialists and there's the generalists and the specialists are they move up higher or they get the the more fun tasks, stuff like that. Um, so that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. In, the, in game dev, if you're like a, a pretty advanced graphics program, you can make half a million it's hard to find those people yeah you know? yeah so 
They're yeah. like AI programmers at you know at Meta now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 